Well, there are fireworks shows all over the place tonight. Almaden Lake in San Jose will have them, Concord's Mount Diablo High School, and Livermore's Robertson Park. Our Katie Nielsen takes us behind the scenes in Livermore to show us how these massive shows are created. This is the setup for tonight's fireworks show. More than 500 mortars, all different shapes, sizes, colors, and effects, all for a 20-minute show, carefully choreographed by one pyrotechnician. I do it for love of it, and I've been doing it for almost 30 years. This is James Wolf, and his passion in life is fireworks. He can pick up any mortar and tell you exactly what it will look like in the sky. This right here is what's called a common. And so when this shell goes up, this comet puts a trail on it. He's the one behind the design of this year's Livermore fireworks show, something he says he can see in his mind after years of experience. The customer will say, well, I want the last 20 minutes. What kind of music? And then you just sit there with an assortment of shells and pick them out and say, at this saw, at this, on this beat, this time you want this thing to go off. He creates a list of each of the 500 shells in order. Then in the two days before the show, they're loaded into the tubes and each one is set with a fuse that connects to a rail. Then during the show, James fires each and every one. It's the only reason I do it it's because I'm the person over there sitting there pressing the buttons. I get a big kick out of it. The fireworks business itself is fairly seasonal. Fourth of July is their biggest day of the year by far. Preparations start all the way in February, but the rest of the year, there isn't much work for a pyrotechnician like James. My full time job is I'm a recruiter for Texas Instruments. It takes a lot to put these shows on. I only do it a couple times a year, but that's fine with me. Now, this is set up at the softball fields across Arroyo Creek from the city's event. They just want to make sure that people are far enough away, that they're not anywhere near the fallout zone and that they're safe. All right, somebody very skilled has to do that job, obviously. Livermore's salute to the 4th of July fireworks show is at Robertson Park. The gates have already opened. There's live music, games, face painting for kids, and the fireworks show designed by James. That starts tonight just after sundown around 9.15 p.m.